짠따라라 짠따라라 Hey friends! Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Everything Beauty XO. My name is Celine. My name is April. And today we are going to talk about the Elizabeth Grant Golden Caviar Mask. <laughs> the Golden Caviar Face and Decolleté. It's fancy. It's French. Magnetic Mask. All right, we got through the name. We got through the name. We are zombies today. I know. Oh, zero makeup, this right, is bad. guys? This is bad. So today we're going to do a review on the mask. And this is our first time actually trying it. So where I bought this was the Lisa Cosmetics sale in Toronto. The original price is actually, it's pretty pricey. It's $100, but I got it for $15. So I'm like, <gasps> I need to try that. It's a pretty big beauty trend now. So you're supposed to put it on your face and then it comes with a magnet and then you're supposed to pull it off your face after the application. This is how much product you get. It's actually pretty big. And then you get this little magnetic thing thing I'm a bob thing I'm a bob so where where can you purchase this product you can purchase this on the shopping channel basically you can purchase this online it's not available at Sephora I don't believe but the price does range looking online it ranges from $15 to even $100 so it's fairly expensive for skincare $100 is a pretty large amount yeah. um, but we're gonna try this out and see if it's all worth it and tell you what we think we will let you know this is our first impressions so basically it's meant to firm your skin and clean your pores it's also meant to create a glowing just a glow just supposed to make your skin look it's radiant supposed to yeah just supposed to, it's supposed to just to um, you know <laughs> make you look fabulous That's what <laughs> so we're gonna see if we're gonna look super fab after we do this super mask. Fab. <laughs> so now we are opening the product actually I opened it earlier and of course it exploded a little bit on me but what the said. lid. What's it smell like? It just smells like any other face mask, to be honest. It smells like mud. Like clean mud. Mm. I can't stop smelling it. Smells it. fresh. Just for reference, this the magnet is inside, so I have my own box <laughs> and like it's le it's legit magnet. We're gonna start scooping the product up. Whoa, I think I took too much. Whoa! It's really like it's like sticky, playing with your of. face. Whoa. Oh. Ooh. Now, how thick are we supposed to put it on? I don't know. It's very sticky. Mm-hmm. It almost feels like you're putting honey on. Yeah, it does feel like honey. Right? It's so thick. I think I went a little too close to my eyes. Oh. I, <laughs> we just, look, I don't... We look crazy! <laughs> this is cute. Yeah, this is cute. I look so cute like this. This is cute. What do you mean? Wow. Ready for a night out. I think I got it on my lip. We look hilarious! No, this is scary. After you've applied it on your face, you leave it on for about um, 20 to 30 minutes. So we're gonna leave it on for half an hour. We decided half an hour just because we put a lot on our face. Like it was pretty thick. Yeah. Half an hour later. So we are 10 minutes in so far. And as you can see, it's kind of leaking onto my lip, which I don't really like. Like I don't like that. I don't know why it's not happening to you. Maybe you put too much product on? Maybe, but... I but I found that was happening as I was putting it on. It, it's really thick at first, and as soon as the heat touches the actual mask, it starts to thin out. So I, I, I caught that earlier, so I started spreading it out right away. That's probably why it's not happening. But maybe. Oh, oh but it is. Update. 10 minute update. Dun, da, da, da. So here we are, 30 minutes later. Um, wow, like, it's, it's honestly, other than the little bit of dripping, it stayed in place. I don't feel a difference. In terms of sub substance, I think I, it, I think it just got thinner. Really? Yeah, like it got thinner as opposed to like staying its consistency, which is I think it, a good thing. It doesn't dry. This is the moment of truth. We are going to remove it with our magnetic domes. <gasps> oh my god, you should. Oh, do, do a you close feel up. it? Yeah, hold on. Do you feel it? Yeah, look, I look, feel look. it. I feel it. <gasps> look at that. Wait, hold on. Do a quick close up. <gasps> <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It just picks up. 
I think you're supposed to get fairly close. Whoa. This is so cool. But it doesn't pick up the whole product. I think it's supposed to pick up most of the product. No, but it says then just rub the rest into your skin. It was recommended to clean your magnetic dome because then all your product is kind of on top. So I think you're supposed to just wipe it because that's why we ha we still have some product. It looks so cool. I want to continue to clean the magnet as you're taking the product off. Have to pee! Look at my hands. <gasps> wow. How? Like, I want to know how this happened. My hands are like this. They're not that bad. So this is what it looks like after you've let it dry and then you go over it with the magnetic dome thing. And it doesn't remove the whole product. I thought it would. But it leaves this kind of thin layer of... Mud. Yeah. And it suggests for you to just massage it into your skin with your hands afterwards. And then put moisturizer over it, which I wouldn't recommend because your face is still going to look like this. Cause well, let's see. Well, I don't let's know. See. I'm assuming. Let's start massaging into okay. our skin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I think we put too much. I just think we're just spreading it some more. But it does feel nice. It kind of feels like there's these fine, super, like, super beads. fine beads, right? Yeah. Beads. Like a sand grain, but it's yeah. not. Like it's sand. Like, like moisturizing like sand. Talon and I are going to go wash it now, so. All right. We'll be back. BRB. Right off the bat, washing it off was pretty difficult. It's um, actually a huge struggle. Yeah, like it's just not even just warm water. You have to take a damp cloth and wipe it off your face and then just you have to throw that uh, cloth <laughs> yeah. in the wash because it's just, it's not going to come off. It's mm. just there. Your skin looks really fresh actually. Really? When I'm like, I'm seeing you look, you're glowing. Really? Yeah, just I from don't know, my It angle. feels super smooth, like I, in silicone. That's what it feels silicone. like. Silicone. It feels like I have sil like silicone skin. Like it's so smooth. Yeah, it's very. I don't want to keep touching it. Yeah, I, I should wanna, stop like... too. It feels like a baby's butt. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, one out of ten. How do you like this product? After washing it off and everything, I would say maybe seven and a half. You know what? I'm gonna give it an eight. Eight for me because um, I wouldn't give it the full. I wouldn't even give it a nine just because the process is kind of annoying. Um, mm. Because it's so messy, it's but it's tedious. But it's cool. Do you, what would you say the advantages of this product was? I would say um, the aftermath. I don't really like the process of this whole thing. To be honest, I'm a quick and easy kind of person. I, I just like to put my mask on, let it dry, and wash it off. But um, I really, I'm actually really impressed with how it makes your skin feel right after. I would yeah. just say disadvantages are it's pretty messy and it's tedious. Those are the only two things. Yeah. But if you have the time, um, hey, go for it. I don't think it's worth a hundred dollars. Hundred percent not. It's just too. It's just. It's I wouldn't messy. I wouldn't spend a hundred dollars on this product no. personally. But if I saw it on sale for maybe fifty bucks. Me like mm, yeah. Fifteen dollars? I don't even I'm not even thinking twice about this product. Yeah. Yay, Elizabeth Grant. Thumbs Yay. Up. Yay. Thumbs good, up. Good product overall, I yes. would say. Yeah, hundred percent. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And hit subscribe down below. We will provide some links as to where to purchase this product um, in the description box below if you're interested. Don't forget to stay tuned. Tal and I will be doing some more reviews and first impressions and other makeup duos. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate the fact that <laughs> yeah. we filmed this video with no yeah. makeup on. This is kind of a big deal, so yeah. be nice. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. For the, the love, love of makeup, makeup and, and everything, everything beauty. beauty.